Oh, shall we do an official opening? Yeah. Hi! <laughs> It gets creepier and creepier. <laughs> it does. This is Carla and Kathleen. And Kathleen. And we are here working on our tree, which I am so proud it of. It is twice as much tree as it was last time. In fact, one of the uh, videos is called Twice the Tree. Because Ooh. I give each video a cute little title. Uh huh. The video for the last one, when we added the branches, is called Branching Out. Oh, I like that. Uh, anyway, now it is twice as twice the trunk. It is flourishing. It is lovely. So we have a couple of leaves still taped on from when we were, when I was experimenting. Uh -huh. So we can take those off, but our main goal now is to figure out figure out what goes where, because it's time to dress the branches. What do you think? <laughs> she doesn't know. Wow. Well, okay, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Yes. So Next we business. have a lot of leaves. I Yeah, we do. So we have a lot of different, we have some that are green, we have some that have different colors. Yes, and you know what might be a good idea is to divide these oh. into the green ones and the colored ones. That's a great idea. You want to use one of one, use one of the other, mm -hmm. and that way we don't get clusters different uh. places. Or if we do, they are intentional. Look at this. This, I believe, Amelia. Now what is that? I believe it was Amelia who colored like this masks, one. Amelia. It, it, like is. it is. It is tiny masks. Is? She said when she picked up her leaf, her leaves to take home the color, she said, I'm gonna do a mask one. And she did. Well, yeah. She's very socially conscious. I love these. Okay, oh I wanted to show this leaf that I did. I'm very pleased with this one. Ooh. It says Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. The Lorax. From the Lorax. And one of the wisest writers. Yeah, by Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. So, I believe we talked about this in the last video, because we did start to look at the leaves. But we have two kinds of leaf sections. We have... And these are the tips. Right. So we have tips. Oh, we call them tips and not tips. <laughs> But tips and not tips. Very clever. So, oh, I like that. Tips and not tips. So the uh, the plan is to have several not tips, ending with one tip. Right. All right. So how many how many tips do we have? And I think that's oh, actually nine. Because I was doing a lot of counting and confusing uh -huh. myself as I was uh, wow getting the leaves cut out. My and you managed to stay on track. Too. I tried. That's that's All right. So we just. I mean, you are the artist here. Ah uh, yes, but this is this is more a matter of just messing around with it till it looks right. Well, and I, you know, this is a this is an art note for people out there who think that you have to know mm -hmm. how to do something in order to do it. I have made an entire career out of doing things I had no idea how to do, and you just figure it out. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to know the right technique. You just mess around with it till it looks right. That's, that's hard for me to do. I like to know exactly what I'm going to do before I do it, which often ends up not doing anything. <laughs> I suffer from that that's myself. Problem. Hey, let's mess around with it and see what looks right. Okay. We will make no decisions. All right. So we have a, a good amount of green and sort of different greens. What I suggest is that we work from the tips in. So and I, when I was counting, in figuring it out, I believe, I came up with uh, three knot tips followed mm -hmm. by one tip. So it's four pieces long for a branch. Okay. But of course, we can have shorter and longer ones. Right. If, you know, because trees do that. Right. And we can, the, the nice thing is, is that the ones that aren't attached here are probably movable until we secure them. Mm -hmm. So if we start from the end, we can move these around mm -hmm. as we need them. We can also decide that maybe we have to trim something off the end. You know, so we will not permanently fixate them until we see what looks right. Okay. What I would love is for the tips to only be attached like here and here, so that they I can think kind that's, of flutter. Yeah, I think that's absolutely doable. So okay. let's do what you suggested. Okay. And I'll probably tape it in place before I do the thing, so it won't move all over. The place. That's a good idea. I, yeah, I think I did that too. I'll all right. So. 
I'm just going to randomly attach this to one of the ends. Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to attach it to this end. <laughs> Do you want a chair or is the floor just the best? Oh, the floor is just wonderful. Okay. Now I don't have any cushion. I will get the cushion. Oh, I'll, I'll have it too. That's one thing about becoming a children's librarian. I didn't realize how much time I would spend sitting on the floor. <laughs> it's a big part of my job. Oh, uh, mm. yes. Sometimes it's for story time or to play with kids. Sometimes it's to shove books that are on the very bottom shelf. We are at one with the floor. Exactly. We cannot afford to be perfectionists here, Carla. No. I'm going to keep punching holes, if that sounds okay to you. Um, I have no objection to you punching mm -hmm. holes. Depending on where you're punching Exactly, not in now, the wall. You stay away from my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I started mentioning this though is because um, there is an event coming up called Dia de los Niños uh -huh. or Dia de los Libros, which is uh, you know Spanish for Children's Day and uh, Books Day. So it is a celebration of bilingual stories in particular, um, but stories in all languages, uh, for children. And so we are going, each of the library branches are going to be making a display of all of our bilingual storybooks um, to encourage the kids to check them out and then to do enter this contest where they um, do a craft project that involves explaining what they liked about the books that they read. So, I was going through all my bilingual books, or books that I happen to have in English and in Spanish, and that is one of them, Muncha Muncha Muncha, and the Spanish title for Muncha 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 is Nyam Nyam Nyam. Oh, really? Which is just the cutest. Thing. Oh, that is adorable. So that's the whole reason I told that whole story was because <laughs> Nyam 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 is just such a cute title. Okay, I will um, take a plain one. I think I would count that as not plain. That's pretty. I love the, the mm -hmm. gradient quality mm -hmm. of it. Gradient? Oh, that's a good word. Yes, it's one of my favorite. I love now, gradients. Now, is gradient different from ombre? Uh, ombre is a term that I believe refers specifically to um, a, a dyeing process. Oh. Because um, ombre, the only uh, cases in which I've heard it referred to coloring jobs has to, have to do with fabric or hair. Mm. And um, gradients are something that are part of like, if you paint a gradient, it's a field that gradually changes color. Mm -hmm. But I've never, it, you could call it an ombre effect, mm. but the ombre effect is a gradient. The gradient is the, the all-encompassing larger uh, word that includes, if we had a Venn diagram, right. uh, yeah, gradient right. would be the big circle and ombre would be inside of it. Yeah, that's a good point. I've only ever heard, heard it referred to hair, except yeah. for I was watching one of these um, shows where all these like famous uh, home designers are competing against each other for something, I'm assuming for charity. And they're each like working on a house. And mm -hmm. and the entryway, the one guy said he wanted to paint the stairs, I can't remember, blue or something, on the the front part of each step. Cause they had like a pretty wood overhang. So he wanted the front part of each step to be of this beautiful blue color. And then he said, or we can make it ombre and have it go up and so they, I guess that would be more of like a gradient. <laughs> I think because it was a staircase. Yeah, I think he was just being pretentious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you when you grow up, um, you really basically think that what you learn is the way everything is. You know. You know. It's an interesting example of that. My mother had polio. She was born late in the twenties, and she mm -hmm. had polio in the great 
you know, um, a polio epidemic in 1930, that my mother could walk, mm -hmm. and she was never in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So that was her survival instinct. Mm -hmm. But um, what was interesting is that my mother's legs were different sizes, mm -hmm. and as a result, her feet were completely different sizes. She always had to buy two pairs of shoes, and one was a size four, and the other was a size seven, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I thought every mother had shoes that were two different oh, sizes no. because I, it just, it never occurred to me that yeah. this wasn't the way it was for everyone, oh. you know? So it's like, I just accepted her as she was yeah. because that's what I grew up with. I've been thinking about that recently that I feel like a much different person than I was even five years ago, but ten years ago, you know, like if mm. if I if I ran into somebody that I was close friends with from my early twenties, they wouldn't even recognize me. You know, that I mean, they might recognize my face, but they wouldn't. They would think I was a different person. And you probably are. And the reason for that is that you are a person who's learning and growing. Yeah. You, he'll grow out of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think he needs to get out of his like back room more and like see what's going on. Oh, that's a good point. Do you think so? Socialize more. Well, it, now he's not talking to me. It's like, you know, I tried to tell him some things he didn't want to hear while you were gone, and like now he's sulking. <laughs> Well, we'll just tie it on anyway, yeah. and we will accommodate as we go along. So the borders to Taiwan are still closed. Mm -hmm. Sometime before my grandchildren grow up and have grandchildren of their own, I hope to get back <laughs> there. an interesting point. I just love the idea of going to help a community that wants help and and being of use in that Yeah, level. being of use. Yeah. Because when I was in high school, I went on a youth mission trip with my church, with some other teenagers from my church, and um, they, so you're doing a colorful one? Mm -hmm. So the next one would be a non-colorful one. Um, and my favorite part of it was helping. You know, we, we cleaned up a park, we helped this woman who lived in a very rural area move her chicken coop so that her, I believe it was, her chickens lived in this barn and they wanted to use the barn as a church, so we built a separate chicken coop for her chickens to live in. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was so fun, just, I mean, it was really rewarding, you know? Just oh, yeah. Useful. but I always point out the things that they do well and, and appreciate the work they put into things because small kids need to be encouraged. That's, oh, yeah, how, you get, that's how you get big leaders. Right, right. I, yeah, when I, when I teach little kids, I always make sure to tell them, hey, if you aren't making a lot of mistakes, you aren't doing art. Wow, don't, be don't be afraid to make a mistake, you know, mm -hmm. because, because that's how we learn and that's how we grow. And I always look for what's working in their stuff. And I'm right. just like, wow, look at this. Hey, maybe you could take it further. Maybe you could like, ooh, and it would be even more if you did this, yeah. you know? My sister, uh, Dina, teaches high school art. And of course, she's doing it remotely now, um, which she's found so many great ways to, to do things online and get the kids engaged using different platforms. but. Um, she actually just won Teacher of the Year for her school. Oh, she did! And now she'll be, um, you know, entered in for the district next. But she was, I was helping her go over her essay that she had to write in order to compete. 
you get nominated, and then you have to do a lot of work ah. to prove that you were worth the nomination. So, um, anyway, but she was she was telling a story about how important to her it is that the kids know that she cares about them personally um, and doesn't just see them as like whether they do well in school or not as you know as part of like just a reflection of her teaching prowess or something. And um, she told the story about how a kid, well, a young man, I guess, called to talk to her, I think to ask for a reference or something, after he graduated. And he said how much he appreciated that she, even though he wasn't a good student, she always encouraged him and always was happy to see him and, you know, made him feel like he wasn't, uh, what was the word? Like he wasn't a failure or something, you know? Right. And, and I was like, it's, it's, all people need to be encouraged, I guess. It's not Is that all the discounts? I think we might. Now mine are all like at the end, but you can, they can easily be right. there. So. Um, so I think we're gonna stop there. And but this looks awesome, mm -hmm. Carla. Oh, you should come here. You gotta see from this angle. Look at it. it looks very foliaged from this oh, angle, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. This is so cool. I'm so proud of us, Carla. We're wonderful, mm -hmm. and so are the kids. Yeah. This is so cool. Oh, I love this ladybug. I oh, haven't seen yeah. that one before. Oh my gosh, look at these. And there's the googly eyes. Hello. We did a lot of work yesterday, and so I'm going to get as much more done as I can putting the rest of the leaves on. We got all of the tips on yesterday, so now I have to work inward and put in these knot tips, as we call them. And because we're closed this morning, and it is cozy in my new picture book corner at the library. I'm going to sit here and do it instead of in our meeting room. It's really hard to work. So here I am. Wish me luck.
So, oh well, we should say goodbye officially. Oh, we should. We should yeah. officially say goodbye. Oh man. Okay, you can you can come with me. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We had such a good time playing with you. We really like you. So one, two, three. Bye. <laughs>